Well, it just keeps on going, doesn't it? We had this idea that perhaps we should uh, move the stretch goals apart a bit so that we don't blow through them all on the first day. And it sort of worked, but we sort of did go through. We went through six stretch goals now in the first day, which is amazing and fantastic. And thank you all very much. Uh, it is you guys that made that happen. So specifically, we have unlocked custom end papers. That is the sheet of paper directly opposite of the cover when you open the book, the front and the back. So instead of that being simple plain paper, we're going to come up with some cool Chinese historical iconography to put in there. That'll be neat. Perhaps of more interest to folks, we have unlocked the special extra section on revolvers. Now, a few folks um, have asked why that wasn't part of the content in the, from the beginning. It does seem to be perhaps integral to the subject matter. Well, the answer is the collections that I worked with to do this book were very specifically focused on semi-automatic firearms uh, pistols. And so we had access to hundreds of those, but only a handful of revolvers. They were sort of ancillary additions to these collections that, you know, for whatever reason, they just kind of happened to stumble across one or two here and there. So we have photographs of enough of them to do a neat add-on section, but not nearly enough to do any sort of systematic analysis in the way that we were able to do with the semi-auto pistols. So. Having unlocked that now, we will have an extra revolver section. Uh, we've got some Smith & Wesson copies, some Colt copies. I actually have a copy of a Japanese Type 26 Nambu revolver, which is pretty cool. So that'll be a neat section. And we have unlocked the Ex Libris label. Ex Libris is uh, Latin for from the library of, and it's this cool sort of vintage private library idea of a, a fancy little label that you affix in, in a book and put your name in it so that if someone borrows your book, uh, and then doesn't give it back, they know who they stole it from. <laughs> uh, this was sometimes done with embossing stamps, uh, but also we, we think the idea of an adhesive book plate is a really cool way to kind of personalize your own copy of the book. So we had the Ex Libris labels available as an add-on from the very beginning. Having broken through the stretch goal, we will now be including one with every copy of the book. So if you already added one to your pledge as an add-on, uh, if you only want one per book, you can go into your pledge, remove that uh, Ex Libris label add-on, because you will be getting one for free now. If you would like to have a spare to put in another book, then go ahead and leave it in there. Of course, if you would like multiples of them, they're available as add-ons. Uh, we have now, of course, three new stretch goals that have been unveiled that we are now working towards, which are also really cool ones. Uh, we've got another Warlord profile coming up on the dog meat general. I will go into him in more detail uh, if we pass that stretch goal. The one I'm really excited about is the Shanghai Municipal Police. That is a section that we debated having in the book from the beginning. Uh, the Shanghai Municipal Police is a really interesting organization. It is Shanghai had an international community to it that was based on some treaties with the Qing Dynasty government. And uh, oh, there's, I, there's too much to go into with the Shanghai Municipal Police. I will suffice to say that uh, for a long time one of its uh, head administrators was William Fairbairn uh, of Fairbairn and Sykes, who would go on to be like the OSS and the British Special Forces hand-to-hand -hand combat training guy. You could call him the father of the modern SWAT team. However, the Shanghai Municipal Police didn't use Chinese domestic pistols. They used guns that they bought from companies like Colt and other Western manufacturers. So it doesn't quite really fit with the overall theme of the book, but it's it was such an interesting period and an interesting group that I really wanted to have the potential to put some of that in the book. So if we hit that stretch goal, uh, I believe that is 500,000, uh, we will go ahead and include that. And then we also have a couple more decorative ones for a custom uh, frontispiece illustration to put in, as well as a custom bookmark ribbon. So hopefully we'll hit those. If we do, of course, uh, we still have a few beyond that that we can unveil. We did plan this out well enough to be able to go past the very first day. So uh, that's where we are at right now. A big thanks once again to all of you for the interest. We continue to be very excited to get the book out and in your hands. Thanks.